Hey everybody, welcome to Hey Man. I am Josh. I am Jacob. Hey man. Hey man. How you doing, dude? Good. How are you? I'm doing really well, dude. I'm I I'm doing really well. I feel, I feel fantastic. What good. about you? I feel I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling good. I feel like Sean Callahan when I count us down like that. Yeah. You guys don't know who Sean Callahan is. Sean Callahan's a good friend of ours who works in uh, 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 TV and the industry. He's it's a stage also manager. Wayne's World. Fine. Yeah, um, but I, but I like the yeah. way Sean does like because but Sean does like this and does he's got like a special way that he does. Did it. you see Wayne's World? Of course, I've seen Wayne's World. All right, just making sure. I hey mean, man, if you're gonna spew, spew into this. Yo, dude, Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Party time. Excellent. Woo, 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 woo. Do you know what Wayne's World? And, and then we, 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 I can't believe we're jumping right in on Wayne's World. But you know what Wayne's World? With the one thing that Wayne's World signifies to me always. Is the beginning of Rob Lowe being funny? <laughs> oh, right, I think that was his first where he was kind of reinventing himself. I, you know what's one of the things I love about Rob Lowe besides that he's a handsome fuck mm. and, and whoever did his face, that's who the rest of Hollywood should be going to for face stuff. Yeah, he looks natural and handsome, right? Yeah. And dude, I mean, nobody even talks about his sex tape anymore ever. Oh, you didn't know Rob Lowe was the original sex tape, dude. You didn't know that? Yo, Rob Lowe is the original OG sex tape guy. No shit. Fuck yeah. In like a back room. Before before Paris? Oh, dude, come on. But, but, listen, way before Paris. Well, Rob Lowe's a little older than Paris. Rob Lowe was snorting coke off of people's backs when Paris was still just like a, a dream in somebody's penis. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> but... <laughs> A really interesting route. I don't know if that was. You could have just gone with minds also. <laughs> like a dream in someone's mind. Also, by the way, would have shown up on the board <laughs> if we were in Family Feud. Probably would have been the top answer. Um, dream in someone's mind. Dude, Looking for penis. Dude, dude. Have you, <laughs> uh, and tell me the honestly, have you looked at any sex tape? Have you looked at any of them? Mm. Kardashian, Hilton. Have you looked at any? Of them? Kardashian one came out when I was a, a little younger, so, so you definitely, definitely checked. That definitely out. peeped that one. Yep. Uh, I never looked at the Paris one because ew, gross. Which um, part? Ew, gross. Paris. Yes. Okay. Really? One man's opinion. Okay. And also, uh, it was such a terrible film. They both looked like raccoons. Yeah, it was but like we night also vision glasses. we also knew the daughters of the dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, so yeah, yeah, so that I was like, yeah, no need for that. Um, I that, that, what, that, what other, what other big ones are there? I think those are probably that's, the two big ones. That's pretty much yeah. it, I think. Who? Oh, Pam and Tommy Lee. Pam I never saw that. Oh, no? Uh-uh. Oh, no? Nope. Oh, no? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, no. I, I, I saw that, but that was back when it was bootleg VHS. People were handing it to you. It also came up on video. I mean, on the internet. It yep. was early internet. And Probably one was, of the first things somebody put on the internet. They, er, were like, they were like, everybody in the world needs to see this. It was early internet, but it was when internet was so slow. Yeah, yeah. Like that was shit. really like a tough watch. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it wasn't even worth getting to that point. I will say, though, that the, the Paris one was like not even... You're from the era of magazines, though. And Whoa. also in person. Of course. What do you mean, in person? Like a strip club. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, but like, do, you, do people still go to strip clubs? Is that still a thing? I think so. I see a lot of rappers that go to strip clubs. So, yes. I just don't... They do that, but also the rappers just go and stand at a table and have, do, they have, have girls dance on them and they just spend like a hundred grand a night and they just throw ones in the air. It's crazy. I, I wonder if the internet has taken the... Probably, but also there's always going to be that certain demographic of people. For sure, for sure. That, and by the way, no judgment. I've yeah, been yeah, to yeah. my fair share of strip clubs. I haven't. I can I, we I told you that I performed at a strip club, right? Yeah, you did. You tell me that. What what was it called again? The, G it, so, so it went from it. The lineup was stripper comedian, stripper comedian, stripper comedian, right? And the name of the night was Giggles and Jiggles. And and I remember I walked on stage and some dude screamed, "You're the ugliest chick I've ever seen!" And I was like, oh, "This is gonna be terrible." Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> probably not a probably not a good show. Hey, you know what though. All of those shows, every, and I'm going to put bad in air quotes. That's how you use oh. air quotes, by the way. I want you to know that. Every bad show I've ever had has made me the comedian I am right now. That's true. Your experiences help shape you. I'll tell you something, dude. You know I've had 
electricity go out, mm-hmm. right? So no microphone, no lights. That happened recently. Yeah, in Nashville. Nashville. Yeah, but that's happened in Utah, right? And it happened repeatedly. I've had fights. I've had people having sex. We had that woman whose water broke. We had, the, yeah, oh yeah, dude. You know that woman who in Australia who threw her back out and went to the hospital after, but didn't want to miss the show. Laid down on the ground so she, to watch the yeah, show. Yeah, so she they laid her in a couple chairs. But crazy. A little bit of everything, and because we had that blind lady get on stage to do the dance off a few weeks ago, I, I really everything, and I don't consider them bad anymore. I used to think of bad shows as good and bad. I don't anymore. Well, that show, the blind woman show, Hilarious, was definitely not dude, bad. Fucking so funny, They're amazing. But but um. I, it, it's made me, it's given me the confidence that I have on stage, which is you can't, sh- you can't shake me. Mm-hmm. There's no, I, you can't shake me. There's just nothing that's going to happen that I haven't kind of seen or been or, or d- had already done. Right. And so I feel like it's, it's all been like to the culmination to this point out, dude, I'm going to tell you something right now. Monday night show at the, at Kimmel's. Mm-hmm. I think I found the rhythm to the residency. That's good. Monday Night Show might have been one of the best shows I've ever put on in my life. That's great. I sent a buddy to your show. Yeah, dude. And I'll tell you why. And, I, and honestly, it's, it has nothing to do with the audience. It was so, I was so in the flow, truly in the flow. Just me, hour and a half, no opener, nothing like that. I was so in the flow and I went in between guitar and story. I would put the guitar down and I would tell two stories. I'd pick it up, do a song or two, put it down. And I truly let the audience take me to whatever story I was going to tell next. Interesting. It was, I, and when I say one of the best shows I've ever done, I left there full of energy. Like that is how I want to feel after I walk off stage every fucking time. That's good. That's dope. Yeah, dude. It, it was so cool. Your buddy actually reached out to me. Did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, and who was that guy? Uh, I met Pierre through McKay. Uh, his name's Pierre? His name's Pierre. Well, that's awesome. Man. Yeah. He's a good kid. Uh, he lives in Michigan. He actually has his own setup and studio. And we were, I didn't know he moved out there because I met him when we lived in LA. Oh, what was he doing uh, in Vegas? Uh, he was just, I think he was just out here hanging out with a buddy. They went uh-huh. to a summer league game. Just chilling. You know, it's Vegas season, man. Mm-hmm. So he just, yeah. So he was like, next time you guys are in Michigan, if you guys want to film a podcast, come through. Um, he's got a really nice space. Like I've seen his stuff. He posted. It's really, really well produced. Did you call Kimmel's and get him tickets? Yeah, I have Joy's number. You're the best, dude. So I just, the first time I was like right before a show, Joy was like, you have my phone number. Why tell me right now? I was like, that's a good point. So now every time I meet someone who is like a connection or someone who's cool and I just text Joy and I'm like, hey, these two people for this time. Well, you know, you could text me and let them know, let me know they're there so I can say hello to them after the show. I, it, the people that I've brought to the show have also just been like, one guy was at, was a, a security guard for that magic show I went to. The yeah, other yeah, two yeah, yeah. dudes were the actual, uh, you know, uh, magicians. And yeah. It just kind of varies on who I'm. No, I'm saying if you want to let me know, I'm happy to say hello to them after oh, the show. Oh, yeah, no, it was just, I was just doing a homie affair. Yeah. He was like, I thought about going to your pop show. I go, would it make it better if I just got you tickets? And he goes, I mean, he's like, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to turn down free tickets. I go, yeah. great. They're going to be at the box office under your name. And I just text Joy. Shout out Joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And guys, Monday nights in Vegas, these are, I think, I'm, I think I've started to figure out the rhythm of what I want the show to be. Okay. And dude, I could not be more excited. Mm. Uh, all right. uh, by the way, across the board, yeah, with all the things that we have going on and the and stand up, I just could not be more excited with the energy with what feels like is behind this right now. It's right. fucking so humbling at my age to be getting all these new fans and and this energy has just been amazing. So yeah, yeah absolutely. We're we're excited for Des Moines this weekend. Yeah, yeah, very excited. Now, dude. Yes. I want to know what that t-shirt is. It says Lube Orama. Why Correct. You- I'm going to give you a couple guesses. People who are listening to this probably if you're if you know what it is, you know. If you don't, you just will never be able to guess. I don't know what hint I could give you that won't give it away. Um, what, am, what do you want me to guess? Where want, you got the shirt? Sh- what it means? Uh, if you can guess like what it's related to, yeah, like I got I got it somewhere specifically. Well, duh. Um, it, they 
They sell it online, but again, it's a specific. You went into a brick and mortar store and got that. No, a what? Brick and a store. A brick and mortar means like a. It's a store that you would leave your house. A building. Uh, I have you not to heard the term brick and mortar? No. Yeah, the brick and mortar store is a store that is a store. Like you leave your house to walk into a store, brick and mortar. Okay, sure. I mean, yeah, but it's also it's. Uh, what I'm gonna say, it's in a, it's it's not the only store in this place, but it's not a plaza. It's like a, it's Meow Wolf. Nope. Uh, You're on the right trail, though. Okay. All right. So how many? Okay. Well, we won't bore everybody. It says service with a smile, mile after mile, and it's called Luberama. Luberama. It says lube for those of you listening, and then it has a funnel, and the O is in the middle of the funnel, so lube O, and then it says Rama at the end. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. I am going to get, does Luberama make sense for what it is? Oh, hundred percent. Okay. Do you know what it's from? Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm, oh, it's from something. Yeah. I think it's from, what's that cartoon you watch with the alien who lives with that family? Uh, American dad. Yeah. I think it's from that. No, but animation, you're on the right trail. It is animation. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm going to give me three more guesses. Luberama is from Futurama. Nope. Good guess, though, actually. Thank you. You know, they're dropping a new season next week. Yeah, I've never seen one episode. You, dude, the, uh, side note, yeah. Futurama, all 10 seasons, front to back. Outstanding. Really? Also, the last episode, if you're a fan of Futurama, makes you cry. 100%. Legit cry? Legit. It just makes me happy. It's a great, great show. Can I tell you something And your mom and I were talking about the other day that I absolutely love about you and have always loved about you. And the first time I saw this happen, you were probably five years old. Your mom and I went away for the first time and grandma came to stay. This is when we went to, Beth and I have had a lot of different business ventures. This one was called Bird Milk, uh-huh. where we started a skateboard clothing. Is that what it's called? Skate line? Politically incorrect skateboard clothing line. It, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, the whole kidding. line wasn't, but a, a little bit was. It wasn't. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't then, but it is now. A hundred percent. Yeah, and I'll explain to you guys what it yeah. is. So we, um, okay. We, so we went away, and um, my mom, grandma came to stay with you, mm-hmm. and we were driving back. And we were pulling the house, and you and grandma were in the driveway, and you were clapping. You used to do the the, the Paula Abdul clap. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. And you came and um, you had just, you were smiling and laughing, but you had tears in your eyes. Uh-huh. And you were just like, and you came and you gave me a hug. And, you know, the three of us hugged. And I said, you okay, buddy? And you were like, I'm just so happy you're home. I'm <laughs> so happy. But you have always been a tears of joy, dude. Oh, yeah. Like when you... I and Sport, sports games, championships, dude, tears of joy guy. And I want to tell you how yeah. much I respect the fact that even as a kid, when you are around, because most, especially young boys don't not just embrace it, but would hide it or mm-hmm. would be embarrassed to do it in front of you. Never were, dude. No, nope. you, you were just tears of joy guy. And you were like, this is me. Tears dude, of joy. We're good. Such a joyful thing to watch. Mm. You still feel that way when you do it? Would you, you ever tears of joy guy? Yeah, this is gonna sound like this is gonna sound like what adulthood does to you. I haven't cried tears of joy in a long time. Yeah, dude, it, it gets to your life. I, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> tears of joy turned into tears of sadness. Yeah. Oh, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, hello life. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> is that your dick? <laughs> yeah. 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 Damn it, life. Yeah. Sorry to ruin that moment. Yeah, but no, like, dude, fucking, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah life. No life comes at you fast. Yeah. Um, okay. Let me get back. But yeah. To but yeah. Yeah. Luberama. Okay. Okay. So I, I can't have, wait I, to have I've that had, clip. I've had two guests. <laughs> I've had American Dad, Futurama. Futurama. Do I know this animation? Technically, yes. What do you mean, technically? Yes. Have you seen it? No. How do you know? Because I know. Well, then how do you know I know about it? Because I've mentioned it. You you know it. I promise you, you know it. Archer. No. You've seen Archer. Uh, that's true. I saw it with you. Well, I can't think of a cartoon that I haven't seen. Can you give me what, the, what it starts with? It's not a cartoon. Animated? It's animated. That's but a it's a cartoon. Yeah, but you're thinking TV show. 
Oh, is it a movie? There you go. Ooh. Which, by the way, opens it up to a whole bunch of things. Yeah. But also slims it down. Uh-huh. Just, okay, give me the the first letter it starts with. N- no. Why not? C. C? Mm-hmm. C. Skalala. That was an S. <laughs> you said Skalala. Skalala. That's two, uh, that's two guesses, by the way. No, Kalala is not a guess. <laughs> it sounded like a guess. Words are... Just, no, not words. <laughs> Letters came I'm out of your mouth. just trying to make Kamala. Kal- by the way, in order to guess, you need to form a word. Yeah. Okay. So you don't form words, you form sounds, I've, and you just put them together. I've heard of this animated movie. Yes, 100%. But I've never seen it. No. Search with a C. Sing. That starts with an S. <laughs> <laughs> That's three. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely fucking counted that. Uh, Wait, was that three or four? Uh, that's four. Four. It's four. Because yeah. Right, try one guess. more. Um, do you want? Do you want the best best hint of them all? Since yes. Your last guess. Yes, yeah. You know somebody who was a voice in this movie. I do personally. Uh, has Freddie done? Nope. Scott Wolf. Nope. Done? Joe Diaz? Nope. Uh, okay, I got it. Cephapod. That's also an S. I don't think they cep- a cephapod. I don't also know if that's a word. I don't even know if it's a movie, but I just wanted to say something because I was the dying. guy. The guy you know in it is Larry the Cable Guy, and it's the movie Cars. Oh! This shirt. I just want you to know again. Zoom in, not zoom in, but like focus on this, right? Luborama. This shirt is sold in Disneyland. I got this at Disneyland because there's a place called Lubarama in Cars Land. Yeah. Just feel like it's a family park and you're selling a shirt that says Lubarama. Yeah, on but it. you're thinking dirty and they're not. It's also in the movie Cars. So like yeah, so it, they're definitely not thinking dirty. But I think it's hilarious that I bought this shirt at Disneyland. Yeah, I do too. Hmm? I, I yeah, Lubarama. Okay. I would have never got that. That's why I started it with you. I've never seen it. any of the cars. I that's what I said. I yeah. knew that. That's why I also knew I could give you that hint at the end that to I thought would give it away. Yeah. But you didn't think of Tomate? Tomate. How many cars are there? <laughs> I don't even know. There's like two? two. There's like two or three where they're in that universe. Then there's yeah. one where they're like with dinosaurs. And then there, I think there's another one where they're in space. Yeah, I'm out. And then they made a spinoff called Planes. There's a, there's a, there's, it's I called can't Planes. Wait, wait, has boats come in yet? No, I haven't heard of boats or trains yet. That's mm, Thomas. Or bicycles. That's Thomas, I guess. Yeah. Dude, um, but yeah, but also before we get back to that, um, there was something you were you, you said you went to your PRP, uh, thing that we talked about last time. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I went to the PRP doctor today. What does PRP stand for? Before you get into it, <sighs> I remember. Uh, platelet. Yep. Replacement. Nope. <laughs> Here we go again, folks. I can't. I wait to see how long. All right, it's two twenty eight right now. I can't wait to see how long it takes for you to figure this out. <laughs> Platelet replica? Nope. Uh, is it something like a replacement or replica? Nope. Ratio? Incorrect. Is it RA? Incorrect. RE? <laughs> Are you just going to do all the vowels? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That doesn't count because you could also spell something RH, like rhetorical. But it's not RH. How do you know? Because I know it's not rhetorical. I, <laughs> well played. Okay. Touche. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, there aren't too many RAs. So <laughs> rheumatoid. Uh, yeah, R E? Nope. R O? Nope. R I? Yep. Uh, platelet. Replica. <laughs> <laughs> platelet. Fuck. How do I not remember this? <laughs> I remember it. Platelet. Rizzle. Rizzle? Play, platelet rizzle for shizzle. R-I what? I can't just keep kidding. Yeah, I mean, we can't. This is going to go on forever. Platelet rizzle. R-I? C. <laughs> platelet, platelet, Ricky? Platelet, 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 Ricky? Platelet, Ricky? Ricky! Yeah. <laughs> What's that? It's from that, it's from, a, it's from a movie, isn't it? From Boys in the Hood? I don't know. Maybe. Platelet. R-I-C. Richmond. No, cut it in half. Rich. Thank you. 
Platelet rich. And we got to find a P for that. Huh? Oh, I know what the P is. You got to find the P for it. Platelet rich plateau. Platelet rich production. <laughs> Platelet rich people. <laughs> Congratulations to those people. But Platelet rich personally ill. <laughs> P what? PL. Platelet rich platelet. <laughs> Is that it? Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> Platelet no Rich. No way. There is no way that that... Sorry, I didn't mean to throw Platelet you... Platelet Rich Plateau. Plateau. You Platelet did not rich. just say Platelet Rich. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. You said it like Joey. <laughs> from friends. You threw like a shrug at You were like... <laughs> it's like when he's trying to learn French. He's like... Like you were... <laughs> You were so <laughs> platelet rich, p- plain platelet rich ploy platelet platelet rich, pl what? We are gonna be here until the end <laughs> of this podcast. Platelet rich what? Oh my god! Platelet rich what? pl pl what? Pl what? Come on, <laughs> pl a? Yeah. Did I already say that? P L A. No, I said P L. P L. Platelet rich plasma. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Four minutes. <laughs> oh my god. God, I can't wait for people to see that. So. <laughs> Woo. That's a bummer. <laughs> Uh, listen, oh, man. My God, that was so much better than I could have even hoped for. <laughs> I uh well thank you. Listen, hey dude. By the way, woo. Um, oh we my God. are we have been watching um a show <sighs> called Alone. Okay. And um, I don't know if you watch that. It's basically it's a survival show. God damn. Where they drop ten people off in the fucking worst place. I remember you world. telling yep. about it because you watched it. And I think you get to bring ten th- things Items. with you. Yep. Um, but no, like no lighter, no, you know, just like cord or, you know, like, like a, a knife. sleeping bag, a knife, you bring like a machete, like a, 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 a tin a, pot, a, a tarp, yeah. a pot, right? So, and they drop you off and then you get, a, you or you're in charge of filming everything. And it's just, you survive, whoever survives out there the longest, longest wins? The longest wins. But no food, you got to get your own food, you got to get your own water. Right? And you bring a gun? Cannot bring a gun, you can bring a bow and arrow. Can you bring like a, like a... Oh, it has to be like a bow and arrow yeah, bow you, and arrow? Yeah, you got to pull it back. Yeah, it can't be like a crossbow. Okay, that was my question. So, your mom and I love this show. Uh, and we're watching, and there's this guy on the show named Cade. And your mom says to me, we've been watching for a couple of episodes, she was like, that guy looks like Jacob's friend Cade from like first or second grade, felt like. Who was there, I think, for only one semester. Mm-hmm. I remember. And so <coughs> your mom did, you know, and, we, and he was from Texas, the foothills of Texas. Yep. He moved back after one semester. Your age. Mm-hmm. And so your mom looks him up. He's your age. He's from the foothills of Texas. And he lives in Wyoming now. So your mom, and, and, and I'm going to tell you something right now. Like, I remember what he looks like. And it doesn't not look like what he could look like. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. It did is, you guys front? Did you guys... Because we, we never... Here's the thing. After he... After that semester, we didn't know that he was leaving. He just kind of vanished. Yeah, yeah. And we were just like, he must have just had to have gone back. By the way, this is also the only kid ever you guys let me have a school night sleepover with. Yeah. Only because he lived at the apartment next door to school. Yeah. So there, you were like, there's no way that this dude is not getting to school in the morning because we live on the other side of the school. Yeah. Not even a mile away. Right. So you knew everything was fine. But so that kid, like, we uh, we also really liked his mom, him and his mom. We really, really liked those two. Kate. And so, but but you're not going to be able to. Season, season 10? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, but he lives in Wyoming now. Your mom sent a DM like a creeper. Mom. And just said, hey, are you, uh, did you live in Los Angeles 
for a semester. She, it, it wasn't like a creeper, like a bad, you know, your mom. She's very. Yeah. Kate. Cade Cole? Cade Cole, dude, because I think his last name was Cole, brother. I also do think his last name was Cole. Don't you think so? I yeah, think why the f- fuck can I just see a picture of this dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And same shaped eyes, same high cheekbones. Do you know what I'm saying? He doesn't not look like that kid. Sorry about that. You're fine. It, right? It kind of looks like him. You gonna speak? Yeah, I'm just. Okay. I, I'm, sorry, I'm a little too stunned to speak because I, I think it kind of. We looks haven't like heard him. anything from this kid since I was well, yeah. five. Nah, seven probably. I think you were first or second grade in that area. Yeah, yeah. No, that's crazy though. But wait, he's 27, which would make him older than me. Yeah, but he was a year older than me. He was. He had come from Texas. He had. Yeah, yeah. He was. He was already a year older than me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now he. I wouldn't have put two and two together, but your mom definitely. Mom, did. mom's yeah, yeah, she's definitely okay. Well, but, that but that is really right? that is really interesting. What do you think? Possible? You see a look? You saw him? I definitely saw it looked like him, for sure. And his last name was definitely another C, and one syllable. Yeah, he had a cool name too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought and so Kate too. Cole is a cool name, super cool name. Like, how crazy would that be for him to pop up like that? I'm going to DM him like a creeper, too. Listen, dude. I think it's less creepier if it's me, though. You should watch this season of Alone. Okay. It's a fascinating. By the way, because I I was trying to think what part of survival I would be best at. None of it. Not good. None of it. Just best. None of it. Here's the one thing I'd be best at. I'm not saying I'd be good. You're, you're, out of all the lacking skills that I've had, I have, I think the one that I could at least kind of do is figure out and not good. Remember, not good. But I think I could figure out how to get a shelter together. Walls, roof, that kind of thing. I'm not saying it would be where you want to stay permanently. But between figuring out how to forage, I don't know anything about it. I don't think I could make... Now, we're, I'm talking to true survival, right? Not you get to bring shit with you. Right, right, right. I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I couldn't make fishing wire out of whatever they make plants or however they fucking used to do it, you know? Right. I, I couldn't make a pole. I, I wouldn't know how to make my own hook out of whatever I found in the forest. But I could figure out, I couldn't make a trap. No. None of that. I, I definitely couldn't start a fire. Uh, I could get everything to start a fire. I just wouldn't know it, how to actually start such fire. Well, dude, I could do that too. I could gather all the stuff together and then we'd stare I, I never at it understood, together. I never understood how people could hit two rocks together and create a spark. Yeah, dude. That doesn't make sense to me. Is it, there like a specific angle you have to hit it at in order for it to work? Like, you know, you're asking the exact wrong person. Yeah, you've been watching the show, though. That's why like, they don't explain. Do you listen while they're on the show? Yeah, or do but you they fall have asleep? a flint. They have a flint. Okay. That sounds exactly like it. By the way. We're not going to get back into something like this. We don't have to because sounds exactly like it. Don't, you don't even have to ch- fact check me on this. The, by the way, I want to ask people listening. And, Sound and, of, what is it? A flint? I don't know what it's called. I do want to. Uh, I typed in flint and it says sound of flintstones running. What is it? Put that in. Let me hear it. <laughs> you want to hear that? Yeah, it's going like- to sound like. Here, I'm going to hear that. What? Um, I don't know what that is. You know, this is a. An, yeah, that's my favorite sound of our cartoon people running. Put it up to the mic so people can hear it, though. Oh, I thought you were just no. telling me to pull it away. No, 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 no. Oh, fucking <laughs> best. That's pretty funny. I wish that's the noise it made when I ran. <laughs> if you ran. Not anymore, my runner. That's what I'm saying. Um, dude, I, I want to ask other dog owners if, if your dogs do this. This is the fucking weirdest thing. Are we having Indiana Jones, for those of you who don't know, is and by the way, I forgot to say this up top. Thank you all so much for the new listeners, and there are lots of you um, who have been joining recently. Yo, so grateful for all of you. Thank you so much for signing up and subscribing and watching on YouTube. It is so heartwarming and super cool to see how many people are on board for watching this relationship. That I think that's some. 
most heartwarming messages I get, which are, it's cool to see that relate that father son relationship. Mm -hmm. So, and I want you guys to know, I, I, I have a great relationship with all my kids. Absolutely. Um, and so, but it's, it's super cool to get those messages. So thank you all so much. Um, okay. So Indiana Jones, half pit bull, half American bulldog. Big boy. A, a little bit of a spaz. Right. He was on the treadmill last night, fucking digging it. But this dog, not only does he poop on trees, which we've talked about. And bushes. And but oh, he, he, he did it when we took him for a walk the other night. On the bush? Oh yeah, it disappeared so far into it. I didn't. I couldn't figure out where yeah, to pick dude, it up. It's, it's, there's it's, definitely. I, I picked up most of it, but there's definitely a little pebble somewhere in that bush. He loves to shit on bushes and stick poop to trees. Oh, I remember. Yeah. You know what else he does, dude? He doesn't let you kill bugs in the house. Oh, I'm aware of that too. The last time I tried to move a roach, a, a roach, a roach out of the house, and I tried to like pull him back to like move him. He snapped back and like tried to nip me, and I was like, "Hey, man, we're not we're not playing the biting game here, dude." Like, he he, f you can try to kill a bug in another room, and he somehow knows it and runs in, but all worried. Yeah, like if you try it's, to step on a bug in front of him, he will jump up and put his paws on your chest and try to push you off away. It's so weird. It's bananas. Yo, dude, try to he, kill try he, to kill a fly at the house. Dude, I've tried to I didn't even try to kill the roach. I just tried to move it out of the house and he yeah. wouldn't even let me touch it. Yeah, dude. He he needs a friend, it, I think, to protect. I, I don't know if that's it. He He wants a little brother. Get him like a little just, just get him a little tiny dog. No. He's, yeah, he'll he, love him. No. He's not gonna like any dog that takes attention away from him. That's not gonna happen. He's the biggest baby, dude. He is a big baby. He's a giant baby. <clears throat> but why is he protecting the bugs? I, I'm so... Milo doesn't protect bugs. He actually, like... We have a video of him catching a fly in the air and then... With his mouth? Yeah, and then spitting it out and just patting it back and forth. He was, like, playing with his food. And then he just, like, stepped on it and then he ate him. It was crazy. Yo, I've He's, seen dogs try to catch flies with their mouth. It's, like, impossible. Oh, he, he caught them. And then he spit him out. And then he just like, he was like, he was like, yeah, yeah, you like that? Tell your friends. And then he just, poof. And then he ate him. Was the fly alive when he spit him out? Oh, yeah. That's so why he was fucking with him. Can you imagine being like, a fly? Goo, 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 goo. Poof. Tell your friends. And yeah. then he just ate him. <laughs> he should have left him there with a sign and put his head on a spike. Yeah, and been like, come around. This is what happens to people around here. Yeah. I was like, Milo, could you not? And he just looked at me and he was like, I'm a good dog. And I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. But now he was like. He doesn't even notice the bugs in the house anymore. There are so many more bugs in this house just because, like, there are a lot more bugs here in the desert. Yeah, yes, agree. Like, the amount of crickets. I did find, however, a squished, killed baby cricket in the house the other day, and Milo walked up to it and sniffed it, and I pushed him away, and he snapped at me, and he was like, this is my... And I was like... My kill. I was like, is that your kill? He was like, yeah, it was. It's it's okay, but it's okay <clears throat> for me, bugs. They're healthy. 100% a cricket is healthy to eat. I mean, yeah, we've eaten crickets before. Yeah, I guess. A hundred percent of cricket is healthy to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so uh, yeah. look, dude, depending on which one, a cockroach is healthy to eat. Gross. I ate one, I tell you. Oh, I I remember. Were you there when I ate that? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I was there for everything. You you can by the way, you can YouTube that guys. Yeah, the, the I was, I was video there. of meeting the cockroach live. I wasn't missing a day there because I met Stone Cold Steve Austin. I met the Hoff. Who else did I meet? I'm you met sure. the you met uh <clears throat> on that show? Yeah, do we, that was uh, a was, was that Shark Week or Naked After Dark? Shark Week. I think the cockroach was Naked After Dark. Oh, the Shark Week show was well ah, was for sure. And, sorry, crazy hiccups and yeah, Stone Cold. Yeah, that was all Shark Week. That, that dude, that Shark After Dark show was and so Reed. much fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Paul DeGelder, that was the big. Yes, yeah, why we talked about it? Why haven't you posted that Tara Reid clip? I don't know. She seems to have enough problems. You know what I mean? If you don't post it, I will. That's up to you, but... Uh, I'm on it. Uh, I, she's... I, you know, the last couple of times I've seen videos of her, I'm just like, ah, I feel like so bad. Not bad, but just like, I don't need to add to whatever the fuck is happening in her yeah, life. Yeah, but maybe, maybe it'll just like... She looks like a... It'll just knock her and then it'll be like, she'll be like, you know what? I need to change my life and then she'll, she, she'll switch it around. She looks like a raisin with fake tits. I feel like that's what Lindsay Lohan looked like at one point. Lindsay Lohan just had a baby. Good for her. Yeah, very good for her. That's yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, though. Yeah. But, like, she switched it. Maybe Tara just needs a little extra kick to, to yeah. come back up. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? I don't know. Um, you want you wanted to show me a video? 
Oh, I didn't want to show you a video, but Iman sent me a video. Okay. Um, and it's of somebody talking about uh, a Delta flight here in Las Vegas. They were waiting on the tarmac to leave. And because it was a 111 degrees on the tarmac, five people not only passed out because it was so hot on the plane, they shit themselves. On the plane? On the plane. The people who passed out shit themselves on the plane. While waiting on the tarmac? And eventually they... they the You got to turn that plane around. They, they never left. So they got them off the plane and then the rest of the people were like, let's get the fuck out of here and try to cool the plane down. Like, because, you know, like, yeah, sometimes and when you're sitting there... Can like, you clean up a little? Yeah. But also, here's my thing. Like, you know what I don't get? I get it's like maybe it's like saving gas or whatever. But yo, if I'm sitting on the plane... And we're still sitting at the gate. Yeah, why yeah. do you never have the fucking AC on? I don't know. Like, yeah, it's why? Insane. Why? Why? Like, we're all just going to sit here and cook. Put the AC on. Like, why? Does it have to be a thing that the plane has to be in the air in order for there to be AC? Like, I, how I does that know. work? Turn that shit on. Like, I, I've never understood why airlines are always like, now, nah, when you sit here and wait before we take off, you're going to bake. But then when we get in the air, we'll turn it on. It's like, no, but why did they just turn the thing on the whole fucking time? Can you Google? And that's a great question. I think I've always wondered that too. Can you Google, do people shit themselves when they pass out? Is that something you lose control of your bowels? Some some people do, definitely. When like you it, die, you definitely lose control of your well, bowels. Well, yeah, I get that's that. That's a different story. Yeah. But yeah, some people... I, just, I mean, there are... I think is, there, is, there, there are only a few involuntary muscles, right? Right. I think one is blinking... Your heart is probably an involuntary muscle. I think swallowing is probably involuntary and voluntary. What else? What else is involuntary? But you hold it in your poop. Uh, can fainting cause a loss of bowel control? Although the, the distinction is difficult for the untrained eye, jerky movements during a faint are not the same as those with a seizure similar. Loss of bowel or bladder control commonly seen with seizures is rare during a faint. So it's rare during a faint, but more common with seizures. Yo, dude, I think what a tough walk out of the airport with shit in your pants. I don't think they walked out. I think they got wheeled out to a hospital because they fainted. Yeah, you're probably right. So they probably dude, were in a am rough ambulance ride for the meds, the, uh, the dudes treating you, the women and men and women treating you. Yeah, probably a rough ride for, uh, for those individuals for sure. Did I ever tell you? Imagine so, waking up in an ambulance. No, with shit on yourself. With shit in your shit on yourself in your pants, mm -mm. and off of the flight that you had paid for to go back home to Atlanta from Vegas, and you were like, "Oh, I expected to wake up on a plane in Atlanta." Nope, I'm waking up in an ambulance with shit in my Dude, pants. If I got on a plane and the last thing I remember is that I was on the plane, and then I woke up in an ambulance, I would I, the first thing I would think of is I surprised I I survived, survived a plane crash, and I would be like I. I am invincible. Fuck yeah. I mean, just a little shit, but no scratches. Come on, dude. Yeah, but then what's the terrible fate when you get there and they're like, no, then you're like, did I survive a plane crash? And they're like, no, you just You caused one. Yeah, you passed out. <laughs> you passed out and shit yourself because it was too hot. So yeah, the plane, that, the plane took off, but you had to come here. I would have to probably make up a better story. I'm not sure I want to be. I would not gonna lie though, would love to be the doctor telling that to the person. I think I just think like I feel like as a doctor, you have so much. Doctors, by the way, have crazy dark sense of humor. That's what I'm saying, though. Yeah. So, like, to see what you see in your career, to then get this moment placed in front of you, every the doctor probably looked up and went, oh, thank you. Like, finally a laugh. Like, let me go yeah. in and break this news to this person and then go tell fucking everybody. It's like all the, the, the doctors who find the weird things in people's buttholes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, you, that was that Optimus Prime? Like, why did you put but a transformer for, I, I in I would your for bottle? sure think that for some of those doctors and nurses, they're like, that's like a like a nice like a break. I, I agree. Like, I, like some people are like, that's gross. And the, the people in the medical field are like, it's fucking what Funny. a great yeah, what yeah. a great break in our day from the gunshot wounds. Dude's got a fucking Optimus Prime up his butt. I'll take it. That sounds fun. By the way, if it, it, I I got, you know, whatever floats your boat, but I've always wondered, like, if you're going to put Optimus Prime or something in your butthole. What's the end goal? Well, I know what the end goal is, but why not attach a string to the end? Well, no, Do you know I, what I'm I, saying? I, I, like, I, yeah. Like, when things get stuck. Also, how are you physically putting that whole thing in your butt? Well, listen, dude. We, 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 I, I think it's fine that you don't know. But I'm sure for some people, it's not as difficult as... 
yeah. you're imagining. Okay. Okay. I guess. Yeah. 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 But yeah. Okay. I mean, I think it's probably a gradual build, but. Well, it doesn't really seem comfortable. Listen again, dude. It seems very rigid. Listen, listen I, again. I, I, I understand, but like, it seems like it has so many points and ridges, and like, it doesn't seem like it would be have pleasant. You ever, have you ever seen a video of a dude getting his nuts stomped on by a woman in high heels? I've never sent you one of those videos. Thank God you haven't. I'm probably gonna, <laughs> I'm probably gonna get one when I walk out of here. What about that video I sent you yesterday <sighs> on Instagram? Come on. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Yeah, but but dude, people are into weird. Do you know what I mean? Yep. I'm always curious. I'm less, <clears throat> I'm less fascinated by the thing and more fascinated by how you got there. Like if you're at Optimus Prime, I'm sure you start with like a finger. Or a bumblebee, I guess. Yeah, but, but, like, but where do you like, do, and have you always gone action figure? Yeah, and is Megatron before or after Optimus Prime? Yeah, dude, it is. A you real... and I are asking the wrong, different questions. Yeah. I have a, you uh, think he's straight Transformer. <sighs> You think he's just graduated up from... Or maybe it's just been toys. Maybe it started at like G.I. Joe and He-Man and now we're... have gradually escalated through the Transformers. I think you start my, with one of those small little army guys. Yeah, 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 probably. They're getting lost for sure. I'm amazed they didn't see any up there. Well, I mean, listen, dude. Those little army guys, you would have to put them on a stick or something. Yeah, you got to tie like a line to them <laughs> so you can pull them back out. Uh, yeah, it, I, I, uh, I don't know how we got started talking about that. Oh, the video. Here's the thing. You know, have you ever seen something crazy go down, like, on a plane? I don't think so. Like, I've never had anybody get pulled off a plane. Um, I've never really had any yelling or... Look at me, man. I, I Look, if things happen on a plane, though, also, I'm sleeping. So I usually don't know what's happening on yeah. a plane. I'm asleep. I can sleep from... Uh, I can sleep a cross-country flight, no problem. I was super high one one flight and heavy paranoid and was convinced that the guy next to me was a terrorist. So I wouldn't go to sleep. I just, I just, I basically looked at him the whole flight. That is ridiculous. And he said to me at the end of the flight, he was like, Hey, and I go, yeah. he goes, why, why were you staring at me the whole flight? And I, I wasn't like eyeballing him the whole flight, but he could tell that I was yeah, yeah, yeah. keeping an eye. Every time he moved, I was like, <laughs> right. I, he, he was like, why were you staring at me the whole flight? I'm like, yeah, that's not important. He was like, yeah, I'm just curious. Do I look like somebody you know? And I was like, no. And I thought you might maybe blow the plane up. And he was like, what? I was like, I thought, I was like, I'm super high. And I thought maybe that you were going to be somebody who might blow up the plane. And he was like, can I tell you something? I go, what? He goes, that's what I thought of you. He was <laughs> like, He was like, I thought you were looking at me. So I, I, I wouldn't be paying attention to you. And I was like, yeah, this dude is staring at me the whole flight. I thought he was staring at me to see when I wasn't looking at him, but he was staring at me. That's hilarious. Yeah, dude. We both thought we were going <laughs> to blow up the plane. <laughs> yeah. 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 But he wasn't high. I was just being stupid. Yeah. And I was pretty convinced. I'm like, oh, this dude's going to blow up the plane. But you know, in, in all, in every guy's mind, dude. We think I, I I'm going to be the hero. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be the hero. I'm the guy to stop. A hundred percent. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. I'm going to be first. I'm going to be there. I, I already have even, plan. Even, even if I'm going down first, I'm, I'm going first. But also in my plan, I don't go down. I win. Of course. We, uh, here's what I love about action movies. A every action movie, somewhere in the back of every dude's mind is, I could do that. I could probably, I could probably do. I could do that. I could. Those born movies. Yeah, I could fucking fight like that. I, I, I could do that. Yo, not going to lie. I had one of those daydreams <laughs> yesterday where it was like I was getting into a fight with a dude like or like some dude tried to rob me or whatever. And for some reason, I was wearing a scarf because it was cold out in Vegas in the summer. And I did that thing where they wrap the scarf around the hands and they just like where someone comes at you and you just like wrap them and you spin them. And, you, and I, yeah, I had those that. are what your daydreams are like. Dude? Yeah, yeah, sometimes. That's amazing. Sometimes I have daydreams about like me fighting and shit. Or are you are your eyes open when you're doing this? Hundred percent. Like where where were you when you were having this daydream? Driving? No, I'm just kidding. That's um, fine. With you. Yeah. You're no, here. sometimes I do get daydreams while I'm driving, and I can still focus on the road, but I'm just thinking about something completely different. Um, I I was probably just sitting in my house. And do you make? No are you going? Yeah. Are you making any noises? No, I'm just like it, it's like me staring off into space. 
So like, I'll just like stare off, have a moment, think about some random ass moment. I have a lot of ones where I hit the lottery or, or like have a whole bunch of money. Do you have a lottery daydreams? Once a day. Really? Easily. Are I, you playing I, the lottery I, at all? I have, let's, let, me, let me rephrase that. I don't have lottery. I have money daydreams. Are you playing the lottery at all? Nope. Why not? I only play it when it hits a certain level. Yeah, because that two million is not worth. Nah, not really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I also have like a daydream of like hitting a jackpot in a casino, um, which is dangerous because I live in Vegas. Um, but you know, yeah, I have I have money daydreams all the time. I love that dude. I've had money daydreams since I was fourteen. Really? All because also my friends and I in high school, all we did was talk about was being rich, and that's the that's the end goal. You know what's crazy is that your generation is so much more materialistic and I'm trying not to use that in a negative way. The world's expensive. Then my, we, I mean, it wasn't that we didn't think about being successful, but like, you know, I, I think Instagram and all that shit has basically perpetuated that because you're constantly looking at people's lives who you think are living better lives than you. Correct. When, right? you're, not, when you're not already looking at what you have. Right. And in my, like, we didn't, that wasn't accessible to us. The only people right. who lived like that were like movie stars, mm -hmm. but we didn't have access to their personal lives or anything right. like that. Right. But you guys are so much more into swag and material shit than I ever remember being. I'm not, look, I, of course, like uh, the, the, to have fuck you money sounds like so much fun. Yeah. But also for me, fuck you money. A lot of people who have fuck you money have that exact attitude that fuck you. Yeah. I don't want fuck you money to be one of those people. I've always wanted fuck you money to take care of people. Yeah. You know what? Me too. I, I've never wanted fuck you money. Like, look, it would, I would be lying if that statement, that, that statement I was about to say would have been a lie. Yeah. It would be a lie if I didn't say I wanted fuck you money to have everything that I've always wanted in life. Yeah. That it would be a lie to say that I would just use it to help people. I would, to have everything you ever want in life, to never have a question, to see you see something you like and go, yeah, I'll buy it no matter what the price tag is. Yeah. That sounds like a fucking fun ass way to live. But I however, it doesn't mean shit unless you have your people with you. Like for me, the money and the fame would mean zero if I had nobody else with me. So like it's always been a thing where it's like if I make it, the homies make it. Right. Like if I'm eating, the homies are eating. I'm always, I get, t I get texts for job offers that I don't take anymore. I'm like, Hey, here's a number for somebody else. And yeah. it's, it's always McKay. It's McKay or it's Evan or it's rich. It's somebody. Yeah. So for me, it's like, if I can't take it or eat, like if I can't eat, I'm going to make sure that somebody else is eating. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So for me, the fuck you money dream has always just been to take care of the people around me. And of course myself. And just so for, we could have, Whatever the fuck we wanted, whenever we wanted, we could go wherever we want, whenever we want. Yep. You want that really fancy steak? Great. You want that really nice pair of shoes? Great. You want to to have enough money to walk in and close out a store and just shop? That's fuck you money, and that sounds like fun. But the fuck you attitude that a lot of people have with it defeats the purpose of even having the money. Can I tell you that, and I'm with you, like if I ended up, well, like with that type of money, I... I, like I said to your mom the other night, we were out to dinner. I said, how cool would it be if I just said to the, to be able to say to the waiter, right? I want one my, of everything. My on server the... right now. Yeah. If I could just say, I can say, I want one of everything on the menu. That to me is not like crazy money. There's a, I've always wanted but to, to be able to say, Hey, I'm going to don't tell, but I'm just going to buy everybody's dinner. Exactly. That, that kind of stuff is, is exciting to me. You know, we have one car. I'm not a, uh, that stuff, like that mis real material stuff, isn't. It's to be able to, to 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 provide that type of happiness or that surprise or that joy for people. That would be super dope. I want to tell you something as somebody who's had a lot of ups and downs with money, mm -hmm. and, and I know people are gonna whatever, but I can tell you there have been times where I had no money, and I was way happier than when I had money. Right. You know, that time in the, those, some of those times in the luxury apartment, man, mm -hmm. when it was just, just me and you and your brother and your sister, and mm -hmm. we had, didn't have two fucking nickels to rub together. Those were some of the best memories of my life. Right. Of my fucking life. Right. And I can tell you that in the following years, when I got my very first TV deal and had a little bit of dough, I was not happy. I was not happy. 
More money, more problems. Yeah, it's just like money. Look, dude, it's great to have it if you're already happy, but it's not going to, it, it I doesn't just make anything. Yeah. It doesn't solve it for you. No. I, dude, I went to see my parents this week. First of all, you got to go see them. Yeah. You have to, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to. Um, they, while they're still kicking, at, not just kicking, dude, but no, like, I mean like kicking it up and like, yeah, yeah. They're 87 and 86. Right. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, man. I feel like, uh, and when I was younger, I didn't really get my dad. I, I can, I'm not sure how big of a fan I was of, of him when I was a kid. Um, but it's so. We're big, we're big fans now. Of my dad? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Tom Wolf makes me laugh. My, my dad and mom, we, we, they hadn't seen Stranger Things, so we binge watched season one. They never, I, I feel like it's not really a show grandma would like. She liked it? She loved it. My dad was like, I'll watch one. And then uh, he was like, just do, how do you just, let's just watch another. And then by the time, He's like I, you. by the time the third one, I looked at him and he just went like this with his finger. <laughs> he was like, keep it going. Why, right, yeah. Let's go. Bring it back. Keep, keep it going. I keep love it going. that. Uh, but I, man, I'm so. Was, like, was it just like, un, like unprovoked also? Like he knew you had looked at him and he was just like, yep, do it again. Well, because I was, I was going to ask him again, you know, if you wanted to watch. And he episode. already. Yeah, do we watch? So funny. I watched six episodes with him before dinner, and then they watched the last two. Good show. If season one is great, 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 great TV. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Great. I, I like all the seasons. Some people, look, if you're comparing every season to season one, you're going to have some problems. But just remember, everybody. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just remember that that season one, a lot of times season one on these shows is the best. Is because whoever created it has been thinking about that season. Yeah, and also you also have to understand it's like yeah they've been specifically thinking about that, that season because that's what they were trying to sell for a long time. Yeah, but also you have to know that as the actors get older and as the story progresses, the whole story and everything in it has to evolve. Like it has to have its changes. They can't stick to the exact same stylistic shot and everything they did in the first season. Like as a show, they have to progress. And if you get yeah. stuck, if you get stuck looking like the same season over and over again, people get bored. Yeah. Also, like you have to change storylines. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you have to progress. You yeah. have to evolve in a story, or else that's right. People get bored and lost, and they leave. Dude, it's that that season one was like, and as somebody this who grew season, up in that in that era, yeah, it perfectly captured. You know what I love about eighties movies, dude, is that there is an innocence and a naivete. That is naivete. Big word. Is it? No, it's only like <laughs> seven or eight letters. N-A-I-V-I-T-E. Naivete. Hit me. I think that's right. With a little... Spell mm. naivete. Naivete? Naivete. Just it said. has an accent on it, too. I think that's it, what you just said. Naivete. Not naivete. Naivete. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> What, uh, how did you spell it? N a i n i n a i v uh, i t e. But that's you gotta say acente with the acente. Yeah, yeah, with the acente. Uh, incorrect. Is it? Yep. What is it? N a i v e t e acente o v e v e t e v e t e. Fucking French. Um, is it French? It's not French. It's English. Is it? French? Yeah, it is French. Late late seventeenth century from French. Yeah. From French, what? Mm, not na naivete. Oh, okay. But there's I, the there's the double dot over the I. Oh, the umchat. The un unclot. Umplot. Unclot. 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 Somebody help us. Hit me with the what is the two dots over the O? What is the two dots Oomps. over the O? Okay, I'm give me three guesses. Umclot. Um. 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 Tlot. Tlot. Um. What do you think it is? What is it called? Umlaut. It's umlaut. It's German. Uh, uh, umlaut? Who are you yelling at? That was not right. I'm just I'm yelling at Siri. Oh. Siri, Siri, what 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 is an um, umlaut? What what is an umlaut? It's too An umlaut is a symbol that is written over vowels in German and some other languages to indicate the way in which they should be pronounced. Umlaut. I'm gotta change what I've been saying. I've been saying unklaut. I know, but we It's um, funny, we're white. Yeah. That doesn't have, what is that? Well, it Amer white? Amer American. American. Germans are white. American is yeah, what I meant. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
But also because the white people tend to fuck up a lot of... They do? Yeah, white people don't have the best accents of all time. So they sometimes it sounds what like... What are you talking about? Stop it. What white people? You. Okay, but for sure, but... And me, that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes when I try to speak Spanish, I I, I feel like I'm butchering the language because my accent is terrible. Oh god! Yeah, yeah. God, yeah. God, Damn! God. Like you could, you could at least let me explain. Like, well, you did. You just said white people you, have bad you, accents. Yeah, you kept attacking. Oh yeah, I wasn't saying like they have like their their accents are bad. I'm saying like their accents when they try to speak another language. Oh, sometimes god, like, yeah. it sounds like they're butchering the my language. My Spanish language. My Spanish is perfect. Mm. Give me. Tell me. Say something in Spanish. Give it. Give me a sentence. Your dog is at the library. Mi perro. Your dog is at the library. Oh, is what I su perro está a la biblioteca. That might be right. Su perro está a la biblioteca. How do you say your dog is at the library in Spanish? Yeah, you were wrong. You said you said super. Yeah, but tu is formal. Su is informal. Tu means is your inform is formally. You said also in a la biblioteca. It's in la biblioteca. Whatever. That's Actually, you pretty. said a a la biblioteca. It's a star in la biblioteca. Yeah, two fucking same thing. <laughs> I said I said is at and that is is in. That's the only difference. I said your dog's at the library. Right, right. They, they said the sentence. You said, I tell st- me your dog is at the library. That's what I said. You changed it when you said, check the tape. Uh, <laughs> oh, I want, but let me just say this before we get out of here, because we do have to get it. And by the way, the Europe and um, UK dates have been announced. <laughs> we're, at, we're in Des Moines this weekend. When this drops, um, we'll be there tomorrow. New Jersey. New Jersey the weekend after that. Then we go to Pittsburgh. We go to Erie, Pennsylvania. And then I'm in Nashville for a Bonanza extravaganza. Indeed. Uh, every Monday night, I'm in Vegas. Uh, ComedianJoshWolf.com for tour dates at Josh Wolf Comedy and all socials. Yo, dude. Being with my parents this week. I feel... So, I'm so grateful that they... Just for my relationship with them. I, as I get older, I realize that the parent-kid relationship, when you hear other people's stories, you're like, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, 100%. Do you know what I mean? You're like, yeah. oh, all right. So whatever issues I had with my parents, you, look, I'm not poo-pooing anyone's issues. You, your, your experience is your experience. Right. Doug Stanhope had a great joke where he was like, you can't compare sucks. My suck and your suck. I'm not living your life. You're not living my life. 100%. Right, right, right. But as I see other people's relationships with their parents or, or parents that have been sick or my parents are 87, 86, still married, mm-hmm. still giving 100% to their kids and to each other, mm-hmm. I feel so fucking lucky to have been around that. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it re- Absolutely. It, it really... Um, I, because that the only... That's what I expect a marriage to be. Mm-hmm. Two people who stay together. It, Do you know what I mean? 100%. It's such a cool, it's such a cool, it's such a, as you get older, like, I, all relationships relationships are up and down. Right? Mm-hmm. Every single one. But when you're talking about a couple. And I think one of the problems that, one of the reasons divorce is so high is because people come from, there's a, a lot of divorced families. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh yeah, this is, you just get divorced. And look, it's not like your mom and I, every marriage has tough times. Right. It's not like your mom and I haven't had patches. But my instinct in that patch was, oh, this is just a patch. Like sometimes things are good and sometimes things are bad, mm-hmm. but I married you. I love you. Like like uh, just because I hate you right now doesn't mean I don't love you. Right. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I think I, I, I think I must have learned that instinctually from just watching my mom and dad. Yeah. So lucky, man. I feel so, and it made me, it made me, cause it took me longer in life to get there, but it made me even more grateful for my relationship with you and, and Caitlin and mm-hmm. Trevor. Like it, it, cause I hear other people's stories. I get, well, you know what this podcast and the sh- live shows have really Open my eyes to is mm. other people's relationship with their kids. Yeah, you know what? You know what? I got something. Uh, I heard something. Somebody said something to me the other day. 
and uh, it was a kid, and he was like, yo, started listening to you and your dad's stuff, um, and my dad and I never really had the best relationship growing up or even right now, and I'm 16 years old, and my dad, for the first time ever, after listening to our to your guys' podcast, asked me to do something with him, and we are starting to build a relationship because we listen to your guys' podcast that's together. Is- and I was like, fuck yeah. That's fucking awesome, man. Like, come on. Like, that that kind of shit is like... Dude, that gave me chills. That fucking, is- it's awesome. It's awesome. So, like, to hear that, and even for other people who are like, I'm reconnecting with people, I'm reconnecting with my dad, or I'm hearing it from the son perspective, which is yeah. really awesome. So, you know, life's short, everybody. And again, I, I know a lot of people who I'm very close with, who there are some irrepar- irreparable, irreparable damages. Irreparable. Thank you. Irreparable damages. But if you ever can and you think you it is a good idea and you think you have the time, life's too short. But again, that is not for everybody. Truth I got to tell you, dude, it's so humbling and touching to know that you're making a difference in people's lives. It's It's like... I told you a few years ago, I was like, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be doing stand up. I want to, I really want to, as I get older, I really want to make a difference. It was so, it's so important to me to feel like I'm making a difference or doing something. We are. Yeah. It's so humbling. We are making a difference. It's so humbling and touching. And, and I, I want you to know that every story that I hear and every story that you tell, whether it's in the meet and greets or it's online, we listen. And I, and we we hear you. I truly take it in. It mm-hmm. it 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 means so much. Not only that you're sharing that your stories with us, but that that it's somehow making a difference. Is like it makes this podcast. Besides, dude, it's like besides the fact that I get to hang out with you once mm-hmm. a week and just shoot the shit about dumb stuff and try to remember words. <sighs> I can't wait for that clip. It's gonna be so good. But but. On top of that, knowing that people are listening and look, if, even if it one, if somebody was like, even if there was one story like that, mm-hmm. I would be like, this podcast was hundred percent worth it. Mm-hmm. I hear those every week. All the time. It's, 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 I, I am t- tapping where my heart isn't, but. Yeah, uh, you're tapping the wrong side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's, I just want you guys to know it means, it means a lot to me. It makes me super emotional and, um. But thank you all so much for mm-hmm. for allowing us to have come a space in, come into your life like that. So super, super, super cool. Um, thank you guys so much once again. That is, that is our time. We are ready to get out of here. Yeah. Um, like he said, Joshua Comedy on all platforms. Comedianjoshua.com for tour dates and tickets. By the time you hear this, Des Moines, we will be in your city. Two nights only, right? Two nights just, only. Just Friday and Saturday. If you're listening, by the way, if you, and if you're listening and... Um, we're coming to a city, your city. Please send us food recommendations. For what? Oh, in the city? In the city. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm going to be buying a guitar in, in every city I go into, so, so I'll need a guitar shop. Yeah, so send those to us, either a DM, a comment, or to heymanpod at gmail.com is actually your most preferred place. Heymanpod with three A's at gmail.com. I know it's going to pop up somewhere like right like here if you're watching, but if you're listening... Hey man, with three A's. And send pod. us questions. Yep. Starting next week, we're going to answer your que- your email questions. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and yeah, and, and Jake, tell them where the, they can find. Oh, we forgot to mention your Twitch stream. Can I just say one I thing about ju- it? I was just I was okay. just going to do it right now. And then you do it, and then I want to say something. Okay. Um, also, I am streaming three nights a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Sometimes it'll be during the day. Sometimes it'll be at night. Just kind of look out for where I am. It depends on what I'm doing during the day. Usually on Wednesdays, it's going to be at night because we do our podcast on Wednesdays. Um, I'm streaming on Twitch at twitch.tv slash youthful wolf, like a young wolf, because he's the old one. I'm the young one. Um, It just makes sense. It's the most sense. Um, For the first time in what is going to feel like almost 10 years today on Wednesday, I will be streaming a game that I haven't played since I was in high school. Um, As you guys, some of you may know, Call of Duty's Go... After a certain number of release, the old ones start to get hacked by servers and people, and it's all just like things that make the game not fun. They've officially patched all of that after Microsoft won a lawsuit to keep Call of Duty on their platform. I will be streaming the glory fucking days for, uh, from now on. I may never go back to be playing Apex. I may never, really? go, I may never go back 
because I'm so excited about this because all of the Call of Duties are fixed. So we're going to have a lot of nostalgia streams coming up. So come hang out. I'm having a lot of fun for the 10 or 12 people that are stopping by. I appreciate you guys. Um, but yeah, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. It's Jake Wolf on TikTok. Youthful Wolf on Twitch. Um, what were you going to say about it? I want to say how proud I am of you. Yo, dude, you know, uh, consistency mm-hmm. and dedication and discipline, those have sometimes escaped us. Yep. I'm saving up some money so I can buy something that's going to help me with my stream a lot. It's like 200 bucks, but um, it's like something that'll help me with my sound because my sound keeps going in and out right now. So I'm trying to figure out why it's doing that. But I think I, I found something that's going to fix it. Well, I'm just, I want you to know, dude, and I'm, I, I want you to know how proud I am of you that you are, look, man, the, the habits are there until you make new habits. Yep. And so I, I, I am from just, I want you to know from the outside, I can see you starting to make new habits in your life. Super proud of you, man. Appreciate it. I think it's fucking really awesome. Appreciate Do it. you feel any different? No, no. I just feel like I'm still playing video games for fun. Like I usually am. Yeah. Yeah. I just mean in general in your life. Oh no. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I guess, I guess uh, planning to play video games is a healthy habit. I'm supposed to see something returned on, but it's not like a healthy habit. I'm not saying it's like eating celery and working out, but I'm just saying gross. Not to the second one. The first one it, I'm Celer- just celery is gross. By the way, I, I want to propose something to propose something to you. As I've been trying to get you in the gym. Well, not going to lie. Last week when you drove us here, you said you were going to drive me to the gym on the way back to get a membership. I am today. Yeah. Well, last week you forgot. Yeah, well, and the week before why that. Why is it my responsibility to remember it's not your, your re- gym? It's membership. not your responsibility, but it was your idea. Well, I forgot. Yeah, but I know. you didn't remember either. Oh, I did. I just didn't remind you. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> How about this? <laughs> you, I definitely remember. What if I, to get you into the groove, paid for a month at a boxing gym? Because I think that is more interesting to you than working out. Nah. Not really. No? Boxing, not really for me. I, I, I'm i not in a phase where I want to box or do that kind of workout. Oh, okay. All right. I'm not in that fighting. Like, I, I wouldn't do a karate class anymore. I wouldn't do a karate class. Like, I wouldn't do any martial arts. Yeah. Kind of. Boxing is more just about being in shape, dude. Those dudes are. Well, fucking... boxing is hard as fuck. Yeah, dude. I, I am 100% in on that. But eh, not really. I, I don't want to hop in and do that right now. Okay. Like, it, honestly, if you said CrossFit, I might have been more inclined to say yes to CrossFit. All right, but about, it's hot as fuck outside right now. Right, and nobody's those, CrossFitting outside that's in Vegas. What, right, but they always have those open door. Like, those gyms are always, like, open yeah. platform. Maybe not here, though. Right, right, right. What if, we, what if I did a month at CrossFit? Maybe. Like, what if I pay for that? Maybe. Uh, and then I could go get you some PRP. Some platelet. Hey, I already forgot it again. Rich. Plasma. Oh, there you go. Very nice. I almost said platelet rich platelet again. I, I was like, that really, for sure is right. I would have really liked it if you did. Yeah. We're getting sidetracked though. Um, that happens a lot. Yeah. Thank you guys again. We love you all. We love you, love you, love you. We'll see you on the next one. Des Moines, when you hear this, we'll, we'll, we will be inside your city. And hey, everybody, remember to come out to the Bring Your Kid to Work tour. It starts um, in Europe and the UK in October and November. But also, I think that's what we'll name the rest of this tour, the Bring Your Kid to Work tour. Sure. I already got the name for the next one. So I can't wait. Should we make Bring Your Kid to Work t-shirts? Definitely. But should we like do it where you're Photoshopping my face on like a toddler? Yes. Where I'm holding No, you? no, a toddler like where you're like holding my hand, but I'm just like a tiny. Or we can like put me in like a bunch of kids clothes. Like I, I think f- Photoshopping our faces on a grown a grown person and a baby or me I me me just now trying to put on like smaller clothes might be kind of funny that is super funny like i just like put on kids clothes and they're just like really small How just would, like yeah but you know what that might look a little weird like what would what clothes would you put on where it didn't just look like you wearing small clothes uh i'd probably just put on like like really small jeans like pants and then like I mean, you'd have to have a lunchbox maybe you'd be in a like stroller a, I, would, I would probably do a t-shirt that like only went to like right here but it didn't show like chest yeah but that's isn't crop top in yeah and then and then i'll wear like a, like a like a like I, I already have a lightning mcqueen backpack what if so. i pull you in one of those red wagons well, that's cool i'm cool with that what's your sign off Tell somebody you love them. Do something good for somebody today. We love you guys.
Thank you so much. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for listening to Hey Man. We love you. Love we'll see you out there. Later. Bye, bye.